Hi, Sherry again. Welcome to the new topic from MCQ Dump. Whether you are preparing for school, college or competitive exams or job purposes our channel will prove to be a guaranteed resource for you. We design our content going deep into a particular topic with the aim to bring you a mastery of the topic and help you understand the topic in depth. Let's continue. Which of the following are components of a CPU? Options are A. Memory or storage unit B. Control unit, CU C. Arithmetic logic unit, ALU And D. All of the above Answer is D. All of the above are components of a CPU The arithmetic logic unit is responsible for performing arithmetic and logical functions or operations. True or false? It is true. The arithmetic logic unit is responsible for performing arithmetic and logical functions or operations. The arithmetic logic unit has the following two subsections. Options are a. Arithmetic section B. Probability section C. Logic section and D. Trigonometric section Answer is A. Arithmetic section and C. Logic section The function of the arithmetic section is to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. True or false? It is true. The function of the arithmetic section is to perform arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The function of the logic section is to perform Logic operations such as comparing, selecting, matching, and merging of data. True or false? It's true. The function of the logic section is to perform logic operations such as comparing, selecting, matching, and merging of data. A processor may have more than one arithmetic logic unit. True or false? It's false. A processor may have more than one arithmetic logic unit. Which unit is responsible for controlling the transfer of data and instructions among other units of a computer? Options are A. Arithmetic logic unit B. Control unit C. Standard memory unit and D. None of the above Answer is B. Control unit This unit controls the operation of all parts of the computer but does not actually perform any data processing operations. Options are A. Arithmetic logic unit B. Control unit C. Standard memory unit and D. None of the above Answer is B. Control unit The control unit obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them, and directs the operation of the computer. True or false? It is true. The control unit obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them, and directs the operation of the computer. The storage or memory unit can store. Options are A. Instructions B. Data C. Intermediate results and D. All of the above Answer is D. All of the above 
The storage or memory unit can store instructions, data or intermediate results. The memory unit is responsible for transferring information to other units of the computer when needed. True or false? It's true. The memory unit is responsible for transferring information to other units of the computer when needed. The storage or memory unit is also known as? Options are A. Internal storage unit B. Main memory or primary storage C. Random access memory, RAM and D. All of the above Answer is D. All of the above The control unit obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them, and directs the operation of the computer. True or false? It is true. The control unit obtains the instructions from the memory, interprets them, and directs the operation of the computer. A memory unit transmits. Options are A. Inputs B. Outputs C. A and B above and D. None of the above Answer is C. A and B above A memory unit transmits inputs and outputs both. The final results of processing are also stored in the memory units before these results are released to an output device. The CPU uses the following memory subsystems to perform processing operations. Options are A. Main memory unit B. Cache memory C. Registers and D. All of the above Answer is D. All of the above Some CPU contains separate AUs, for integer or fixed point operations, integers, and real or floating point operations, real slash decimal. True or false? It is true. Some CPU contains separate AUs, for integer or fixed point operations, integers, and real or floating point operations, real slash decimal. AUs receive input in the form of instructions containing opcodes, operands, and format codes. True or false? It is true. AUs receive input in the form of instructions containing opcodes, operands, and format codes. Which of the following statements are true? Options are A. Opcode specifies the operation to be performed. B. Operands specify data on which operation is to be performed. C. Format code suggests the format of operands. And D. All of the above. Answer is D. All of the above. Registers are high-speed memory locations for holding instructions, data and intermediate results, that are currently being processed. True or false? It's true. Registers are high-speed memory locations for holding instructions, data and intermediate results, that are currently being processed. A register is a temporary storage area inside the CPU. This register in the CPU contains the address of the next instruction to be executed from memory. Options are A. Program counter B. Instruction register C. Accumulator and D. None of the above Answer is A. Program counter 
Instruction Register, IR, is the part of a CPU's control unit that holds the instruction currently being executed or decoded. True or false? It's true. Instruction Register, IR, is the part of a CPU's control unit that holds the instruction currently being executed or decoded. It is also called Current Instruction Register, CIR. CPU uses an accumulator, ACC, for storing the results, produced by arithmetic and logic units. True or false? It's true. CPU uses an accumulator, ACC, for storing the results, produced by arithmetic and logic units. Which of the following is false? Options are A. Memory Address Register, MAR, holds the address of the next location in the memory to be accessed. B. Memory Buffer Register, MBR, is for storing data received from or sent to CPU. And C. Memory Data Register, MDR, is for string operands and data. All the options are true. Cache memory is a small amount of high-speed random access memory, RAM, built directly within the processor. True or false? It's true. Cache memory is a small amount of high-speed random access memory, RAM, built directly within the processor. It temporarily holds data and instructions that the processor is likely to reuse. This allows for faster processing, as the processor does not have to wait for the data and instructions to be fetched from the RAM. The primary cache is located inside the CPU, whereas the secondary cache remains on the motherboard of the computer. True or false? It is true. The primary cache is located inside the CPU, whereas the secondary cache remains on the motherboard of the computer. Which options are true for the primary cache? Options are A. It is a small but faster type of cache. B. It is also known as level 1 or L1 cache. C. Provides quick access to data frequently accessed by microprocessors. And D. All of the above. Answer is D. All of the above. Which option is false for the secondary cache? Options are A. It is larger but slower than the primary cache. B. It is also known as level 2 or L2 cache. And C. It is located inside the CPU. Answer is C. It is located inside the CPU. Actually, it remains on the motherboard. Please show your support. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell for our new content.